So in the updated version of VCFace, you are now allowed to use VSF files, um, or the VSF file format. And uh, they also have a VSF SDK, which is used to create these VSF files. Basically what it is, is you take the VRMs and uh, that you make with like VRoid Studio or whatever else, and you can use the VRM importer to put them in Unity and do whatever you want there, add shaders, emissives, uh, animations if you need to. And um, you can ex you can use the VSF SDK to export them out as a VSF uh, file format and then load them into VC Face. Uh, and then you'll see stuff like this, like you can use um, stuff, the emissives with Bloom, settings, and... Um, adding animations this more there actually is a lot more you can do with it um also i updated my normal avatar let me switch to that because i just now did a vsf version of my uh, regular this one is actually one i did for um vinny of vine sauce but i wanted to show it off so let me switch to my actual myself and uh just show off that a little bit too okay so i have the updated version of me um i actually haven't <laughs> since i haven't updated my uh my main channel in a while um i have shown my avatar off but not like in full i haven't really talked to about it much i actually updated the face um like a few weeks back to something that looks more persona-esque since i was in the mood for persona stuff in a while in um like just in this time and um so I put my avatar, I also had finally added hair bones, so now I have hair movement, something I kind of forgot to do in b Road Studio. Uh, but I put this through uh, Unity today, used a VSF SDK to, you know, I, to put in, like, to export it with all the, like, the emissives and uh, kind of like the pulsating headlight. I can actually show you, uh, I might actually show how I did that, uh, starting from scratch. Uh, so any if anyone's interested in learning how to do it, there that'll be there. Um, I haven't added too much else, so it's just like the pulsating light. Um, and I have that set to like with the alien, um, with like the with the way it's set up, you the animations are um, tied to like a um, what is it like an expression. So I have like the, on the alien, I have the uh, glowy headset um, set to neutral. Because like, um, neutral is probably going to be the one expression you're going to use the most, right? Um, that everything, all the other expressions are going to transition back into. So if you want like a consistent animation going, like like how I have the headlight glowing here, you want to like tie it to the neutral animation, which I'll show when I do my like how to thing um after this so let me go over to unity first things first though make sure you have a vrm already made like of your like vroid or, or whatever model that you have um you'll want to have you'll have to look up um i can put the stuff in the description of the video but you'll need a uh the vsf sdk which should be on like the um it should be linked on the VC Face website. And then you'll want like um I think it's higher the version of VC Face I'm using now. It you can see the version number there. Uh I think the version just before this is the one when they start using uh, so I think 1.13 mainly is the version of VC Face that start has started using the VSF files. Um so you want to make sure you have an updated version of that. Make sure you also have a updated version of the um vrm importer for unity uh which i think is on if you just look it up it should be on github i can like that too i thought it was on boof previously but i think there's one on github that i got as well make sure you have the updated version because you'll get errors even though um <laughs> i i encountered like one error uh, when I did the import recently that I haven't come across before. Um, so I'll go over that when I'm in Unity. So let's go over to Unity with our VRM. I'm going to just start with like um, the, a scratch one of like the avatar that I'm using. Maybe an alien one. I don't know. And I'll show you how to do that process. 
Okay, so like I said, I'm using um, Unity 2019.4.29F1, uh, and I have the uh, VRM importer package dragged in. I have the uh, VSF SDK dragged in. Um, also with the new VRM importer, there is a package for shaders. Um, I don't know if that's needed, but I, I got it anyways and dragged it in just in case like any errors occurred with the import. Um, so we'll want to go ahead. I already have like a prefab mate. Let me just get rid of that because I'm doing this kind of from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Uh, then we'll want to go up to the uh, VRM thing that shows up here. It'll say like VRM zero or something like that. Uh, go to import. And you'll want to select your, okay, it's not in here, or is it? So I want to go to um, wherever I have it. This has, okay, so wherever you have your VRM stored, so let me do that. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit. And then uh, once it's done, you'll see, it'll create a prefab of your character down here. This is like one I made of a Jack and Liz um, version of me. Go ahead and like, uh, you can go to the, you can, just drop it in to the project, select it in your in your um, assets thing here, and then drag it into the project. You can go to transform, reset, just to make sure it's in like the um, just in the middle in the proper place here. Um, I'll say I want to add a missives to this and everything. You can do, basically just you can do whatever you want like you would normally do. Like with like a model in Unity, add emissives, add animations. Just to keep in mind, the animations have to be tied to like an expression. Uh, like you see, the the pulsating thing on my head is tied to a neutral thing. Um, let me see if I can get. Let's see if I can move myself out of the way. Maybe. Um, oh, that is not going to help. I need to be able to like resize this a little bit, move this over, so I'm not blocking stuff here. With my myself, there we go. That's a little bit better. Just a teeny bit more. Okay, that's much better. Um. So yeah, say I want to add a missive to this. Just like do it normally. Like with a Vroid, it's gonna be. Let's see. I'm gonna have to find my textures. I made a missive textures for um this one in particular but i can i can just apply the ones that are for the face so uh if you want to do like let's say this could be a kind of a tutorial for just adding a mrs to vroids too um they're gonna be in uh like say you can select the drop down just the basic thing here uh you'll see face you want to add a mrs to it go to um the one that says like face mouth face on it depends on this is going to entirely depend like if you're using a vroid it's going to depend on like how you export it so how many materials you selected um you can put like the vroids in blender and atlas them with the cats plugin so you just have one texture but i didn't do that for this i do have one that's made for like uh vr chat because vr chat will get fussy with too many materials so I've got like an emissive slot here. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, do I have like the emissive texture? I do. I made an emissive one. Emissive textures are just, all you have, to, if you want to make an emissive texture for something, uh, just only keep, basically black out everything in the, the PNG file or whatever for, file format, except for the parts that you want to be emissive. So this only has the eyes and um the things on my ears that glow so you just drop that into the slot for emission and now it glows well the eyes and the the ears anyways um i have this set up like uh at least on this avatar i had it at, i have the headlight in order to animate it i had it uh, set up as like a completely different object so we'll just do the eyes and face for now and just remember if you want bloom on something that's emissive uh set it to at least one you can you can go like really really high but don't do that because some things i mean you can uh vc face has bloom settings so you can kind of uh work around with it set it to at least one though change that to one and uh if you have like the directional i have the directional lighting off for now so if you can't if you have it on and you're not sure if your misses are on just disable it 
and that way you can tell if it worked or not if you're if it's applied properly um so there's that now say you want to add like an animation um for something uh i'm gonna do i have this headlight here let me go to uh for me, it in order to create this like headlight, it's not perfect, by the way. It, it sticks out a little. M mine is like a very hackneyed way of doing it, so I'll show you. Um, this is actually a long tutorial, by the way. If you're just doing like really basic shit for your VSF thing, do whatever you want and then like skip. Um, I'll provide a timestamp in the description for when, but all you have to do is like export it. I'm going to do the animation thing, though, just to show you guys what I did. And then, um, like, like after you're done, you basically just export. You just go to the, the VSF SDK and export it. I did get an error last time, and there was a script I had to remove. But I want to see if I get that this time, so. Uh, but I went to the head here. Uh, so I want to add a headlight. I'm going to create... Went to three object, uh, a plane. So we're gonna have, let me just, I'm not a master at like doing shit um, quickly in Unity. So I have this plane here. Here's the reason why. Um, I'm gonna put a flat animated texture on my head. That's gonna be my headlight. And it's not going to be perfect, but because you can only see me from the front and you're not up close to me, you can't see it sticking out a little bit because that it is actually like sticking out. But it, it's whatever. It's all about like what you can, what people can perceive, right? <laughs> uh, not what they actually know went in through the process. So it's the illusions. Um, so we'll go ahead and just put this here resize it down a bit uh so i have this cutout texture and i tend to use cutout textures a lot did i make a material for it oh yeah i have the material so if you want like a cutout texture um uh, what you do is you have to make like a diffuse version of it um like say this you see this headlight here it's you have an emissive version which is um the headlight itself and then the rest of it is black so only the head sh headlight shows up emissive and then you have a diffuse version it looks all black here but it's actually a transparent png where the shape of the headlight is black and you would put that uh make a material and you would put the diffuse version in albedo slot um make sure you set the rendering mode to cut out because if it's not cut out look um actually here let me apply it first it's just going to be the solid it, the whole thing if you apply uh if you do cut out though it actually cuts it out and you can see it's already emissive because i had the stuff already applied um so let me go ahead and fit that basically <laughs> uh shame on me for doing this but it's, it's just like a really easy way of doing it um let's see if i can resize a little bit here get closer resize it i know there's better ways for doing this for, for right now just just bear with me Let's see if i can get closer here there we go i just want it make sure i resize it uh just a bit better here okay that's that's too much okay <laughs> there we go okay sorry about that um that's good enough it, it is sticking out a little bit but you know you're not going to be close enough to me to see that <laughs> but um that's so what I basically did. I think that needs to be resized down just a teeny bit. Let's see here. Eh. It's fine for now. I'm not going to bother trying to get it closer. If you want to do something like that, you can figure it out too. You're on your own. I'm not going to spend all day trying to get it perfect. Okay, so now I want to add an animation to it. A really basic animation. Just go, like in this, uh, there, people use animators. Um... There's already one on the, the V-Roid and everything for this, so you don't need to worry about that. It's already set up. Uh, so you would just go to animation under window, then uh, animation. Uh, it depends on how you have your like windows set up too. Mine doesn't automatically have the animation animation window set up here. Um, so we'll want to create a... I uh, already have like a headlight animation, but since I'm starting a new one, let me just, just do a second one here um there we go and i'm gonna go to 
So we're going to create the animation. Oh, okay. It's going to be weird about that. Oh, another thing. Before you do that, I, I just realized. So it is, uh, by the way, if you do an animation for whatever reason, like the, this thing, I guess the, the model is going to do this like funky pose. It only does it during the animation. Also, I just realized the reason why it's up there is because I didn't attach it to the head. So if you do like, um, an object like this, make sure you actually attach it to the thing that's supposed to be attached to you. If you want like, um, things like say animated things on your head, make sure you attach it to like the head bone. I'll show you where light two. So I'm going to drag this. Let's see, drag that to the head. I'm not sure why it's not doing this. It does a weird thing and even the hair disappeared. I don't know if it's like something with like the, the SDK that gets weird. Um, I wonder if I can just go back before doing that. There we go. Okay. Before I touch that. Yeah, for whatever reason, when you're in the animation editor, I noticed that it does that with the avatar. So let me make sure before I do that, I um, drag this headlight to the head bone so it stays up there and doesn't move. So I'm going to drag it to my head here. Okay. Now it's staying. <laughs> Now we're going to animate. It, the avatar will probably do a funky thing here, but I'm not moving um, any of the bones. You don't want to, you know, well, I think you can actually do pose animations. Uh, I am not going to fuck with it. So I'm just going to do the headlight. Uh, we'll set it to, I'm doing like a glow effect. So what you would do is go uh, to the, the headlight uh, material here and just set it to um, let's see if I can view it a little closer here. Go to the HDR and then just like lower it to black. There we go. So that should stop recording. So do this little bit here, but we want it to go back to um, where it was starting. So you just select that in the animator. Copy, and then uh, I'd say two minutes after two, so the before, there you go. And then I just sort of check it afterwards just to make sure it's good. It's got like a little pulsing animation here. That's good to go. Okay, so I can get back to this. I think once I get out of the, the animator, it, it'll eventually, yeah, it kind of resets here. Um, it shouldn't fuck with the, I think it's just a problem. I don't know why it does that. Even the hair disappeared. It, it I already had like I had this issue with like this particular avatar that I'm using. So I don't know why it does that. Just ignore it uh, for now. Kind of resets itself. So if you have an animation applied, you'll need to make sure that it's actually on um, like an expression or something. And because I want this uh, showing up all the time, the headlight animation. Just go to VSF animations script. You want to add that to your, um, you want to make sure you have like your main thing ha uh, highlighted here on the inspector and then add the component to it. VSF animation script, uh, hit the plus. Uh, I have it selected to neutral. This shows all the, uh, expressions here. So you can actually set, um, I, I don't really use the via VC face expressions that much because I'm, I'm not like really satisfied with them. They, I don't know. It takes a lot of tweaking to get it perfect and I just don't want to mess with it. So, um, uh, but yeah, you can, you can set the animations to occur when you make a certain expression. If you have those enabled neutrals, just kind of a default thing. Um, and then I would select, uh, headlight two. And then uh, we are good to go. So it export, go to VSF SDK and uh, export the, okay. So it gave me this uh, error last time. If you get this, uh, so it says detected invalid components on avatar. You need G GLTF runtime, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, it took me a while to figure out where it was. It's actually on here um, on the main thing for the, the Vroid, I think the Vroids, like when you export them as VRM, they come with a script and that might just be to allow you to export them. Or I don't know if that's, 
that might be something added to it uh, when you uh, import them with the VRM importer just to give you the option, I think to um, export them as uh, the GLTF file if you uh, need to. And I, I forgot what those are used for exactly, what utilizes those, but we don't need that for this. Um, so we can, let me go back here. So we're going to get rid of, where did it go? Well, um, goes the three dots here. And then, um, yeah, I'm in the way here. Let, let me see if I can get it out of the way. Yeah, it's not going to move that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, there's three dots next to the script. You can't see it right here because I'm in the way. There we go. Uh, go on that and hit remove component. And um, it should not give you that error when you go to export it. There we go. Now I can do it. Um, and save. And then it'll take a little bit to export. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to switch to. Uh, Oh, I'm going to exit. I wish VC face. I don't know if VC face has like an easy way to switch between different avatars. I always have to close it and then like reopen it and then select the one I want to use. So I'm going to do that after it's done um, exporting. It'll take a little bit. So I'll be back with a new one if I didn't fuck it up. So, OK, there we are. As you can see, um, the export was a success. And I have my, uh, everything is nice and glowy because the bloom is, uh, I have the bloom set up a little bit. So anything that has a missives on it is going to, uh, have a bit of bloom on it. I don't have, uh, normally if I, if I do like the proper export for this one, it would have a lot more missives on it on the body. But for right now, I'm just doing this just to show how it works. And you can see like the, um, they had like pulsates, like when I ever... Um, actually it just shows up, kind of shows up almost all the time because it's tied to neutral and everything like kind of transitions into the neutral expression. So, hey, it worked. But yeah, that's, um, that's how the VSF, um, format works. It's really awesome. There's a lot more you can do with it. You'd have to like go to the website, which is like right here and read all the documentation what's capable because there's like a, apparently like a lot of toggles and stuff where you can add animations and everything just a lot of fun stuff so um but that's it I, I hope that helps someone out at least my uh wonky tutorials i just wanted to show you guys that off also this is also another version i have so many different versions of this avatar this is basically uh the zero suit of this before I go. I don't know if I can turn this around. This has like a, let's see if I can actually turn it around. Will it let me, let's see, I think it's alt that I have to, it's supposed to be a way to turn these and I have no idea. Oh, here it is. Uh, this usually like the, I have this as a VR chat avatar, but this normally ha is also emissive. So this is a bit different. This has a bit of a difference. This is also a flat texture because <laughs> I I did this in um, Vroid Studio. Actually, maybe I'll show that. I need to show that sometime on how to do um, texturing, all the weird stuff you can do with texturing in, in Vroid Studio um, by itself. But normally that would be emissive. But that's it. I've got a lot of versions of this thing here, uh, you know, ones with less goals and all that kind of stuff. So that's it for now. Uh, thank you for tuning in.